Bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? Je suis Coutalia de la Libre, le Rendez-vous 2 de l'Europe Burial, mon nom est de la Libre. Bienvenue sur mon chat. I am Queen Coutalia, the Hoodoo Queen. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing pimping the spirits. Yes, pimping the spirits, pimping your ancestors, pimping exploiting the culture Diabolical. we are about to get into all of luti the team <laughs> but before we get into all of that of course i must ask you to please subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up leave a sweet kind comment below hit your notification button and please share the video merci beaucoup merci so you may ask the question, what inspired me to do this video? And the thing that inspired me to do the video is the fact that I was just doing um, today. In fact, we um, have concluded the Fet Papa Dabal Fet Papa Dombalawedo and Aidoedo celebration. And I was thinking about it and everyone, if you've been following me for a while, you know I do not speak about my religion. I don't speak about my faith outside of the faith that I have in myself. So when I say faith, I am not talking about my religious faith. I am talking about what I know that I provide. Okay. So when it comes to my religious faith, I don't speak about that. I don't promote that. I don't um, parade with it. But I see so many people. Parading, parading traditional African spirituality, parading, exploiting, okay, um, the Loa, the Orisha, so forth and so on. And I thought to myself, because I did this fit Papa Dambala, we do it and we do celebration publicly, I thought to myself, let me speak on this particular subject. Okay, so that being said, as I mentioned, we have concluded the celebration for Papa Dabalawedo and Aida Wedo. This celebration was huge for me and those involved. We had some very strong messages come through. We had people sign up on, on, on the spot. Some people came in that previously signed up bringing in their apples and limes and their eggs and their flour and their rice and sugar and all kinds of things. Um, I also had my virtual attendees and I thought it would be so special for you to see exactly some of those things. Um, so here is just a quick clip of what went on this afternoon. Deca, voila. Seigneur, 
Beaucoup. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, I am just honored for the trust and loyalty. Let me make this part clear. I have never, never addressed myself or announced myself as a mambo. I've never addressed myself or introduced myself as a high priestess of. Because I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not going to um, clickbait you. I'm not going to, um, again, exploit <laughs> the, the, the culture and my religion for anything. I am not jeopardizing that for anything at all. Okay? The only thing that I address myself as is exactly the thing that I am and that I am recognized as in multiple spaces and that is Queen Cotalia de la Livre la Renutu, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court, Muna Medos de la Livre. That is it. Because I only speak truth. I only move in truth. I only move in that space of love to every capacity and every aspect that love provides. Okay? So it's very important to know that I am never going to... Um, present and pose as something that I am not. One day, when I, if I become mumble, I will then let you know, possibly, but it's not really any of your business unless I have a charge for the community and the public. Okay? So anyways, um, I am grateful for everyone that participated in this. Um, I also want to go ahead and mention, as always with the starting um, announcement, is do not forget to sign up for the March Community Service for Success and Clarity. Okay? Do not miss this. I do not sell the Crown of Success oil. I do not sell my Clarity and Seer oil. One lady, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, used my seer oil years back, was seeing things for two weeks straight. These are her words, not my own. This is just how powerful those things are. For the crown of success oil, of course, we will be reviewing all of those things in the virtual coven. Yes, we will be talking about that in the virtual coven. I will make a video I'm here to share with you, but I do just want to remind you to listen. You have the March community service that you can provide again, success and clarity. Don't miss out on this. I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it because it provides clarity to get your money to be successful, whether that's in love, money, health, you name it literally in the notes and that's what you will get okay how it comes how it provides itself how it introduces itself to you how it enters your life may differ but you will get it i do know this et pour ça nous avons les um les um le coven the coven the, the virtual coven and listen my babies y'all don't another one Hit the join button wherever it is down there somewhere. Hit that join button because I jump in. I try to jump in weekly now, um, but monthly we have a big discussion. But we just had a big discussion the other day on um, last week 
on how to do quick money work, how to do quick blessing works, how to amplify your, your, your actual um, manifestations in your, in your spiritual work. So subscribe for that. It's like $9.99 or something like that. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. And you can like join it in. Don't join. Join back in. But that's a whole lot of work. I don't know why you would do that. But um, yeah, so there's that. The other thing um, is the virtual conjure fat. Now, in-person conjure fat tickets, those have been sold. You're going to get material. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, listen. We've had some changes. We've had some changes. Um, but I've taken care of those things on my end. This year, if you are going to be here, you will get, we are elevating the witch's walk from this year moving forward because we are doing a second line witch's walk, meaning we're going to have a band. We're going to be parading downtown Mobile, down la rue Dauphin, down, um, La Rue Sainte Conception, La Sainte Nuit, La Rue Sainte Nuit. I don't know, but the the exact um, mapping of the route. But baby, we about to second line, have a good time. You don't want to miss out. We have also now included a VIP brunch after our sunrise um, head washing down near the ocean. Y'all, it's going to be spectacular, including a discussion panel on ATRs. So we, we have some new things, some extra things that I've thrown in there. It's going to be great. But for anyone who is virtual, who purchased their, their virtual tickets, you um, let me I want to describe this correctly. You will be receiving if you purchase your tickets by the deadline, March 9th. Virtual and in person, you get all the materials, all the tools, all of the things. But I also now have a virtual option where you get no material, no tools, no supplies. But you can listen into those classes. You will hear what we're using and you can then go and get those things yourself. So it's an option if you want to join so all of that stuff will be below. The other thing is, remember that we do have our five part Institute series, live series. So if you're interested in joining the Conjure South Hoodoo Institute and you have not taken your prerequisites, this is your opportunity to do so now. And the great thing about doing so now is because you actually get to see me live. It's not pre-recorded. So you honestly get those answers those questions answered right then, right there, with no hesitation, no delay. And then you will have the ability to um, do your um, student interview, your Contra South um, Institute interview. And we will see at that point, you know, if you get in. Um, last but not least, please remember that you can always purchase your um, in-person or virtual or by distance readings and spiritual work by clicking the link below and join me on Monday for the free weekly Zodiac readings on Instagram. And, you know, I may, can, I may possibly can do them on Instagram and here on YouTube. I don't know, but we'll see. And um, also the emergency live readings which are changing lives. Those readings are on the money, 3333 for three card, for three question reading, um, and then 4444 for one question, four card detail pull. So all of that is available. Now let's get into tonight's conversation or today's conversation, depending on when you are um, seeing this. It's evening for me. It's probably like 10 o'clock at this point. <laughs> So the discussion of pimping the spirits. Listen, my loves, I'm going to get straight into it. It bothers the hell out of me 
the way I see people parading the Orisha around their necks on every single post, Ashe, Ashe, you, Ashe, Alavia, so forth and so on. You all listen, it is very unbecoming and absolutely a red flag. You want to see a red flag? You want to see a red flag? Look for someone who's always the same way it was. Oh, Lord Jesus, God. Oh, Lord Jesus, God. Oh, Lord Jesus, God. Jesus, 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 God, God, God. You know, oh, I'm highly favored, blessed and highly favored. All of these things all the time. Those are people who are professing their faith, who's not living it, but they have to parade it as though they are. They're trying to convince you of their of, 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 of where they are in their spiritual journey, whether it's Christianity or traditional African religion, or African traditional religion, excuse me. And it is something that I see on a regular basis. Um, this thing of pimping the spirit, pimping the Orisha, pimping the Loa, pimping the ancestor, pimping the culture by parading. There are so many individuals right now that you will see. Oh, learn this with Kimbanda, learn this with Santaria, learn this with Lakumi, learn this, learn this, buy this, buy this, buy this. I am amazed at these individuals because the majority of them, first of all, aren't even children of the diaspora. And when I say children of the diaspora, I mean children of African descent. Because people are going, to, are going to want to say, oh, well, when you say the diaspora, you must also include the Afro-Latin diaspora. Let me explain to you that part. Afro-Latin spirituality, Latinx spirituality, is African. It is African. It is African. Just because you put the Loa in South America doesn't make the Loa Latin. It means the Loa are in a Latin speaking space, a Latin cultural space. But what about the influence of the Latin culture? Well, it's not the influence. It's the, um, what would you say? The, um... I don't know the, the, what I want to say here. It is the um, force of culture. It is the, um, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? Well, for example, Catholicism did not influence Vodou. It did not influence Ifa. It was used to mask the religions, but the space of using, and I've said this many times before, the space of using, um, how to just not colonialism, but what is the word? Um, colonizing, using colonizing as a thread to as a doorway or as a key into traditional African religions is a no-go. That's a no-go. Um, but I see it. I see people go, well, because I'm French, then that's a doorway into Haitian voodoo. No, that's a no-go. Um, but again, right now, let me, let me make this part very clear. Pimping the spirits happens not, uh, listen, not only by those who want the, the, the Loa and the Orisha, the magic, which the religions are not magic. It also happens from the other side. It happens from the other side. There are Haitian Ogan and Mambos that are Haitian that are pimping the Loa. They are selling them out left and right because there are Americans, okay, that want this. And so 
for three easy payments of $19.99, you too can be a mambo. You too can be a tata. You too can be a baba. A baba. You, you too can be a ia. You can like, and that's what's happening. That's what's happening. And so you have this one part that's the children of the diaspora selling out and exploiting. Then you have the Americans and other spaces that just want this um, also to, to and, this, and this is a real thing, listen up, this is huge, this is huge. The majority of individuals that are out here claiming, oh, I'm Lakumi, I'm Santeria, I'm Kimbanda, I'm Palomayombi, I'm Vodou, I'm Vodun, and, and they have the Ilekes, they have the Colliers, they have the Caleres, they have all of these things. Let me tell you something. A lot of people use that, and this is a space of pimping the spirits. They use that to say, look at my spiritual elevation. Look at how I am blessed. Look how I've been called. And that's what they are doing to infiltrate, to, um, to impersonate true spiritual um, growth, development, elevation, so forth and so on. Okay? And this is just the down, outright truth about it. And this is unfortunate. It is discouraging. It's disheartening. But that's what people are doing. So you have to be careful. I'm telling you, you have to be careful with these individuals that are literally pimping the spirits. It's also very interesting to me how these exact same individuals, and I mentioned this earlier, a lot of these individuals are not individuals that are children from the African diaspora. But they parade, they parade the spirits around like tokens of, again, look at, at number one, look at my power. First of all, all of those initiations does not grant you power. The strength that you have has to be, has to be. Skeletal and muscle and muscular. You have ancestral skeletal and muscular strength. You have to have the neck of a linebacker to carry all those elekes, colliers, caleras, etc., so forth and so on. You have to. It is the only way. I am a your ashe is all connected in your neck, <laughs> to be honest. If you want to get real with it, okay? Because, listen, listen. That is all that you're getting. But people are wearing it, one, as I've been initiated X amount of times. Look at my power. I've been initiated X amount of times. Look at my calling. Look at my purpose. I've been... And so they use these things to exploit people, to, um, to use individuals. I want you all to go back and watch every video I've done over the past 10 years, or eight years rather. You will not see me going, I'm a vaudouison, papa da balabuido. I'm going to do this right and he's going to bless you because I am a high priestess of Haitian voodoo. You're not going to see it because listen to me, my faith, my religion is personal. It is private. It is my relationship to the law period point blank. I do not Go to the Loa for any blessings for 
my followers for anything surrounding my community services. Everything that my people get from me is from my blood, point blank, period. And everything that I do regarding the law is only with me. Even today, with the service, I made it clear this has nothing to do with me. This has everything to do with how Papa Ndabala, as well as Aida Wido, may bless you. That's it. That's it. This is nothing more than the acknowledgement of. This is the recognition and the recognizing of. This is the appreciation for. This is providing gratitude because. That's what this was about. But it had nothing to do with, oh, let's see what Queen Kotala is going to do with, 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 with the, with the Loa. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, because that's not how it works. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Um, the other thing, and, and so like I, as I mentioned, I don't speak about my faith, my religion and those things because it is private to me. It is personal to me. It is, it is my journey. Um, and, and one day it may become more public. My personal journey may be become more public, but I'm not going to parade around and see a lot of people want to see that everything is not meant to be seen. And I will reiterate this moment now. Myself, as well as the Queen Mother of, Di of the Diaspora, have made it clear. You should probably reconsider if you want to be initiated. Um, another thing that I am interested in, how do your ancestors feel? Hmm? How do your ancestors feel? How do your ancestors feel when you're not a child of the diaspora, but you're parading the traditional African religions around? How do your people feel? They are the ones that brought you into this world. They are the ones that carry the actual magic for you. How does it make them feel when they cannot sit at the ancestral table they built for you? You've now placed every African <laughs> Loa or Risha at the table that they built for you. How does that feel? And I even go to the space of if you are supposed, and this is even people of color, if your blood is heavy in that Nigerian Yoruba rhythm, but you like, Psh, Forget the Orisha. I'm going to low eye. I'm going to follow me on me. That's what I'm going to do. Because that's what I power it. How do they feel? How do they feel? Hmm? You know, it's, it's that kind of thing. Um, but I also want to just briefly mention this before I end this video. When it comes to actual religion, religion was formed, created, engendered birth to provide ethics of life, how to live within this life while you are experiencing this particular world. It wasn't to grant power. It never has been. Why do you parade the Orisha and the Loa? Let this all they're good for. Hmm? Religion also provides sometimes, 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 sometimes I feel um, it's about that space of community. The Ely or the society. Sometimes that's all that it that it is. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I say that, and I'm gonna bring this forward again like I did last time to get myself comfortable once more. Um but I then just have to communicate this.
allow your actions, allow the observation of others be a testament to your faith. You do not have to profess and parade any faith. I don't care what that is. Vodou, Ifa, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, or Hindu, whatever it is. You don't have to parade it around and profess it as a token of your elevation. You, it's not necessary unless you're trying to make a dollar. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason why. And it's not saying I'm not proud. I'm very proud. I'm very honored. I'm very blessed to be a Vaudouison. Okay? But I don't have to broadcast it. Because it's not the thing that gives me power. But that's what many of you are banking on and depending on. A lot of you think, oh, that's the voodoo. Oh, that's your Arisha. Let me be careful with this one because I got something to worry about. First of all, first of all, if you're not a child of the, of the diaspora and you're claiming the Arisha, your devotee, even if you are truly initiated, I'm not concerned about your relationship with them when I'm a child of them. Okay? So that's number one. Number two, number two, when it comes to um, you being initiated and all of those things, um, I'm not concerned or impressed with the number of initiations you got and that you have. You got four or five initiations under your belt and you've only really been connected to the Orisha the Loa for four or five years. Baby, scam. Scam. Scam you am. I don't care if you like green eggs and ham. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Um... But I want to just communicate that that time of privacy with the spirits. And when I mention spirits in this context, in Haitian Vodou, when they say I serve the spirits, they're talking about the Loa, they're not talking about energy and vibration. They are talking about the ancestral spirits, deities known as the Loa. I need to make that clear, but these relationships are private. These relationships are supposed are supposed to be honored, not paraded around. But I want I want you to be aware, be aware of people who are going. I'm a hoodoo, so I'm going to give you all the stuff and all the things and. Or, for example, like I said, a lot of people, the majority of people I see are using Vodou baths, Lukumi baths, Misa Blanca methods, um, so forth and so on, and claiming it as Bruharia, Hoodoo, Obia, um, Juju, so forth and so on. And I know, listen, I understand there are people that are not going to be happy about this, but it is the truth and it's just what it is. Um, we have to stop and we need, you know, it's, it, let, let me say this and then I'm going to wrap this up. It's interesting. You all want to live in this space of truth, but you don't want to live in the space of truth. You want to wear, I'm authentic. I'm authentic. I am authentic. Authentic is like the, the truth. You want to claim authenticity, but you don't want to clock in in. in Authenticity. Okay? Um, which means you're inauthentic. You're not the truth either. <laughs> just want to just put that little side note in there. But this is what it is. This is what it is. Um, I understand that this is not going to be one of those 
lovey-dovey videos where you whatever but i say this so that one you can clock a scammer you can clock someone who's a who's impersonating who's posing um you can uh, and and the thing about it is again is one thing to say like i am honored boom fit papa nabala period done it's a whole nother thing when you're pimping the spirits parading the spirits exploiting the spirits May that be ancestral, the culture. Um, I mean, ooh, I could just go on, but I'm not gonna do it. <sighs> All right, my loves, I'm gonna go ahead and sound out. I'm, I guarantee this is like a 40 minute video. So annoying, so annoying. But anyways, sign up for the community services. I will see you all very soon. Many blessings again. Thanks to everyone that participated in the um, Fit Papa Dabala We Do I Do We Do celebration and observance. Many blessings. Until next time. Merci beaucoup. Mm, no, that's the other channel. I be on too.